way. I respect a career woman or a woman of substance or a woman who has great respect for herself as a woman and as a person and isn't going to sell her body for sexual exploitation. So, Stormy, you want to bring a case? Let me cross-examine you. <laughs> so NBC reached out to him just this morning. He said he stands by his comments. Why wouldn't I, he said. Um, he said, uh, look, are you going to try to tell me that porn is not demeaning to women? And when questioned about whether he's trying to undermine Stormy's credibility, he said, I don't have to undermine her cre credibility. She has none. Megan, if you sat me down right now and said, Stephanie, please script the worst possible thing <laughs> that could come out of Giuliani's mouth <laughs> and answer that question, <laughs> I'd be hard-pressed to come up with something worse. I mean, honestly, it's just shockingly, shockingly dumb <laughs> and offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's also part of the, an ongoing Trump playbook. I mean, not just in the case of Stormy Daniels, but going back to the 2016 presidential race, when there were women who came forward with not claims of consensual affairs, but actual sexual misconduct against him. One of his defenses was, she's not attractive enough. I wouldn't right. have done that. She's, she's not, not attractive enough. Right, have you enough. seen her? So this is sort of a continuation of a defense that's rolled out when they want to discredit women, saying they're not attractive to be telling the tr attractive enough to be telling the truth about and can, him. And can I just tell you, so the, the notion that, you know, he respects w women of substance, a woman who won't sell her body for sexual exploitation. So Melania Trump is classy and gorgeous, and I really admire her, but she has posed nude for GQ magazine back in 2000. And so to suggest that Trump would never respect and that Giuliani wouldn't respect anybody who's ever sold her body for sexual exploitation, I mean, it's not, now I'm not comparing the two. Posing nude is not the same as being a porn star, but come on, right? Come on. Let me play devil's advocate, though, on Giuliani's behalf since he's not here. I went back and I looked at Stormy Daniels' Twitter feed, which I cannot say that I recommend to you. Um, but she, she's very open about how she is offensive, how she's offensive, and talking about whores do lie, but on their backs, but sometimes we kneel or bend over. Have you seen my, mm, of course you have, F off to people on Twitter, talking about what kind of sex she'll do on camera in very vulgar terms. So there is a contingent of folks out there watching Giuliani who are going to be like, right, right? I mean, that's, I'm playing devil's advocate. Certainly th those kinds of things are going to be offensive to people, and they're not going to, they're going to look at that and say, oh, God. And, and, and I get that. But she's also playing to them a bit. And she said, I have every right in the world to be who I want to be, to be this person. And, to, and when it, what happened to her happened with Trump, she's fighting her fight. And, and I think when Giuliani comes out and talks about her substance and her appearance, he can come out and say, you know what? It didn't happen. Right. Trump says it didn't happen. Melania said it didn't happen. Fine. That's a perfectly fine defense. But now he's going after her character and her substance, and it just is... And, what and being are. an adult film star does not make you a liar. Well, and I...